Hey friends, welcome back. Let's try this again. I filmed the entire video and got to the end and then my phone rang, which cuts my entire video off. And it was Walgreens customer service. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right guys, so Walgreens haul here. Um, better late than never. I did not get to go couponing on the weekend for Walgreens because I took the weekend off, but I am here now. So first off, freebie. These are $2. You buy one, you get a $2 register reward. I did do it twice. If you are planning to do it twice, make sure you do separate transactions because you won't get the register reward. Print it back twice. Here is the receipt. You buy one, you get a $2 register reward. I did pay with $2 in points, so I only paid 17 cents out of pocket. And then I received the $2 register reward back. I did open them because I just had to try them, so that's why they look like that. We actually have a candy bowl in our house, so we're gonna dump them, dump them all in there. But again, two dollars each. So if you do want to do this deal multiple times, just make sure that you um, don't use the same register reward to pay. So like, if you get the two dollars for this, don't use it to pay for the second one because the the other register reward will not print out. You cannot use the same register reward to pay for the same item. Next up, the puffs. They are priced at ninety nine cents. We have a 25 cents off coupon in the June PNG, making it 74 cents out of pocket. Checkout 51 has a 75 cent rebate, making those free. So good deal on those. Next up, I got the Kellogg's deal. They are $1.88 a piece on the Walgreens app, also on coupons.com. There is a $3 off of five boxes of cereal. And they come out to be a dollar and 28 cents for me. That is a really, really good deal because I think I've said this lots. My kids go through cereal a lot. Also, I just want to point out if you don't have the Puffs coupon, there's also one on coupons.com. And here is the cereal coupon again. I used the one that was on the Walgreens app. It was $3 off of five boxes of cereal. So good deal on those. Next up, I got the Purell. They're buy one, get one free. My store only had one of the soaps. I really hope that I can do this deal again. I'm gonna check my local Walgreens because we go through hand soap so fast in my house. So as you can see, this is the soap and this is the sanitizer. I'm actually gonna save the sanitizer to take to school because you know when the kids go back to school, this is always something that is on the school supply list. So they're buy one, get one free, $3.99 out of pocket. Ibotta has a rebate for $1 back. You can do it twice. It is on the healthy soap. When I uploaded my receipt, I thought I was only going to get the rebate back for one of them, but I actually got the rebate back for both. So I got $2.25 back from Ibotta because I did have a $0.25 cent any item. Checkout 51 has a 75 cent rebate, so you pay $3.99 out of pocket. I got $3 back in rebates, and that makes the final cost 99 cents for both. So let's just point out the size of this. It is 12 ounces. So if you are lucky enough to get two of these, you're paying 49 cents for these, which is a really good deal. I don't know if there's a coupon out there. I did not look, but if you have a coupon, even better deal. Um, I think 49 cents is an amazing price anyways. So next up, I got some free Sally Hansen. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know this morning I posted that on Checkout 51, there are some rebates back on these. Now, there is a coupon. I don't know if everybody has it on the Walgreens app. It was $5 off of two. So let me just let you know, mine were on clearance. I did see another Walgreens that they were on clearance because I stopped at a different one on my way home. So I think all the Walgreens have these on clearance. So one of them is $3.99 and the other one is $4.99. Let me show you the breakdown. So $3.99 and $4.99 is $8.98. There's a $5 off two coupon, making it $3.98 out of pocket. Again, that $5 off two was on my Walgreens app. Checkout 51, you get $3 back for one, $2 back for the other, making the rebates back to me $5. So this is free plus a dollar and two cent moneymaker. So awesome deal on those. 
Also, if you did print out the Sally Hansen coupons on coupons.com, they're no longer available. But let me just tell you, so the top coat polish at Walgreens is $9.99. Checkout 51 has a rebate for $3. So you would get $5 in savings and it would make it, what, $4.99? And then also at Walgreens right now, it's spend 20 on Sally Hansen and you get 5,000 in points. If you are planning to do that, do not use points to pay or you will not get the 5,000 points. You would have to pay the cash out of pocket and then you would get the 5,000 points. I did not do the top coat. I didn't have these coupons on me and I don't know if I would have done it anyways, but if you are wanting to do it and you printed this coupon already, then go ahead and do that deal if you want the top coat. Here is the other coupon. This is on coupons.com. Well, it was. I don't think it's there anymore. So the Sally Hansen Complete uh, Salon Manicure, it has to be $2. I'm sorry, $4 or more. So they're priced at $3.99. I don't know if all stores are. So is $3.99 considered to be $4 or more? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if you were to add tax, that would be. So I don't know if you're going to be able to use this, but it doesn't hurt to try. Again, I had the $5 off two coupon. It did not attach on my receipt, but I called customer service and they did issue me 5,000 points. So um, let me just show you my receipts here. I'll let you look at all of the prices. The Purell, buy one, get one free. Oh, I also did the razor deal. That's a repeat deal. I just still have those coupons. Buy one, get one 50% off. You use a $3 off coupons and you get 5,000 points. That's just the same deal I've been doing. The candies are $2. That's the nail polish. The cereals, three at $188. And then I had two at $188 because I got three Apple Jacks and I got two Fruit Loops. Then we have the Sally Hansen and the Puffs 99 cents. Here's all of my coupons. I did roll a $3 register reward that I got from last week. I can't remember what I got the $3 for. I think it was, was it Ziploc maybe? I don't remember, but I did have $3 in register rewards. Here is the 25 cents for the puffs. Then I had four of the $3 off razor coupons. Then I had the $3 off of five boxes of cereal that is the e coupon and then the last manufacturer coupon is going to be that three dollar register reward now i would have had five dollars additional off because the nail polish coupon did not attach that i had on my walgreens app but again they did give me the five thousand points my subtotal was twenty three dollars and fifty seven cents i did have a twenty dollar gift card that i paid with so i ended up only paying 4.90 out of pocket and I got back, let me show you what I got back. I got back 10,000 points because I did hit beauty. So I got 10,000 points for um, all of my points. I got 5,000 for doing the razor deal. And then I also got the 5,000 for beauty. So I got 10,000 points back, which is equivalent to $10. I got $6.50 back from checkout 51. $2.25 back from Ibotta and $2 back from the candies. So let's just add this up really fast. I know I did the candy deal twice, but $75, 6 7 8 that's 20 I mean, that's 10 6 plus 4 So, and then add the other $2 but I don't really think that, I'm not gonna include that other $2 because it was on a different receipt. So I got $20.75 back. Oh, plus the 5,000 points because they did give me the 5,000 points back for the um, coupon not attaching. So that's $25.75. So actually this was all free. Hmm, not bad. I hadn't done the math yet, but again, $23.57 out of pocket. We can include tax. It'd still be the same. I'd still I'd still make a money maker. I'd still have a money maker including tax. So let's just say $24.90. I'll I'll go ahead and include tax. 
Again, I got 10,000 points back. I got 650 from checkout 51. I know it's 650 because I got the email and it said 650. And again, that was $2 for one Sally Hansen, $3 for the other one, 75 cents for the puffs and 75 cents for the Purell. Then 225 back for my bada, and that's the $2 in register rewards for the candies. So that does come out to be $20.75. And again, the 5,000 points that they gave me for the coupon not attaching. And had the coupon attached, then I would have had a lesser out of pocket. So $25.75 back. Yep, that makes this a free transaction plus money maker. So definitely not bad at all. And then I repeated the um, razor deal again. I just don't want those coupons to expire because to me that's a really good deal. So if you see here, I did the razor deal again on another receipt. And this one actually cost me out of pocket. But again, this was all free. So I did do another transaction on the razor deal. And let me just show you. I used three of the... Three to, I used four of the $3 off coupons and then those $2 manufacturer coupons, those were the register rewards back from the Now and Later candies because I had two of those, so that's why I don't have them to show. My subtotal was 604. I did get 5,000 points back. I only have to spend $3.64 to hit beauty. I did use, I did pick up two Kit Kats. This is Peyton's favorite candy, so... The two register rewards, $2 and $2, th that's how I paid for these. Because you have to have a coupon, you have to have an item for each coupon, and register rewards are considered to be coup manufactured coupons. So, now what I plan to do is I will buy more of the Now and Later candies. I will pay with um, $2 in points, so 2,000 in points. Then I will take the register rewards from that and finish out the remainder of my bit coupons. So let's see. I started today with 126,000 points. I am ending with 144,770. I just checked right now before I um, did the video and it is $170 worth of points. So definitely not bad at all. I hope this is helpful, guys. Even though it's up a little late, it, maybe it will help you guys if you still need to do Walgreens this week. I think I am going to go ahead and do a uh, newbie video for Walgreens. If I don't get it up tonight, it will be up tomorrow, and you'll still have plenty of time to go out and do these deals. They do end Saturday at closing of business. Baby, All right. we, we will be doing a newbie video. We will? Newbie video! <laughs> Well, Mr. Lee said newbie video. Maybe we'll go tonight. All right, guys. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you to the moon and back. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.